Hi, in this video, we will see how to convert uh, a grammar to a final automata. Okay, so notes is given in the description, download it and uh, watch my videos at 2x speed. And if I am not asking you too much, if it is only if it is possible for you, like the video, share the video, subscribe, comment only if it is okay for you. Okay, if I am not asking too much. So now let's see this. So let us say in the exam, they have given you this grammar and then they are asking you what is the language represented by it. By looking at the grammar, it is impossible to answer this question. Okay. It is not impossible, but very difficult to answer this question. But then if you observe, it is a right linear grammar. A right linear grammar can be converted to finite automata easily. So what are the states we have? We have S is a state. A is a state, B is a state. All the vertices here will become the state, right? Now S is going to epsilon, therefore S will be final state. Now the starting symbol is S, therefore S is the starting state. Now S on small a is going to A. And S on small b is going to S. And A on small a is going to B. And A on small b is going to A. And yes, B on small a is going to S. And B on small b is going to be in the B. Right. Now, if you observe it, this is set of all strings. This is set of all strings where number of a's are divisible by a. Set of all strings where number of a's are divisible by 3. Okay. So, directly you have converted. There are some rules in the textbook. So you don't have to follow those rules. For example, if A derives epsilon is there, that is the final state. If A derives A is there, you add an X and then X derives epsilon. So A derives A will be like this. If A derives AB is there, first you break it. You write as AX. Now X has to derive B. X has to derive B. Now AB is derived. Therefore, at the end, add a Y and Y to epsilon. Now you are going to get a finite automata like this. A to uh, capital A on small a to x b. These are textbook methods, okay, which will be very lengthy. Now, if you have a a b, then you are going to break it into a followed by x1. Now, x1 will be broken into a followed by b. Now, x3 will be the b, x3 will be the b followed by x3 and x3 will be epsilon so don't follow those rules you can directly do that okay for example if you have a derives a a b then you can directly put a a a and capital b now if a derives a b a b then you can directly put a b a b and final state okay So in the exam, if they have given you this, <coughs> how are you going to answer it? It is very difficult to answer it directly. Luckily, it is a right linear grammar which can be converted to your finite automata very easily. So let us say there are four states. S is there, A is there, B is there, C is there. Okay. So how would I put S, A, B, C here? You can put them anywhere, but then writing like this. Uh, for me, it worked out well. Luckily, I have written like this. Okay, sometimes, you know, you might have to draw the diagram and redraw the diagram to see what the language is. Okay, you will get a hint, of course. Now, S on S is the starting state and uh, A is the final state because A derives epsilon is there. Now, S on A is going to A. S on A is going to A and S on B is going to C. And A on A is going to S. A on A. Sorry. A on A, right? So A on A is going to S. And A on B is going to B. A on B is going to B. C on A. Uh, B on A is going to C. B on A is going to C. And B on B is going to A. B on B. B on B on B is going to A. 
okay so b on small b is going to a okay b on small b is going to a okay and then c on a is going to b c on a is going to b and then c on b is going to s c on b is going to s now you can see that this is a grid machine right so it is a grid now what is the final state this is the final state final state is the intersection of these two lines right right now what does this line say what does this line say this line says that it is even number of beats even number of beats what does this line say this line says that it is odd number of a's odd number of a's it is intersection of these two therefore the language is odd number of a's followed by even number of b's okay so now i have shown you now if i i have shown you two things if a finite automata is given you can convert it into right linear grammar and if a right linear grammar is given you can convert it into finite automata this is straightforward but then if you have to do that with left linear grammar it is not straightforward if a left linear grammar is given and if you have to find out the finite automata you have to go through a process first you convert the left linear grammar into right linear grammar by reversing the productions what do i mean by reversing the productions if i have a production like this uh, left linear grammar right so let us say a a then if i reverse it it is going to be a a so reverse the productions and you get right linear grammar right you are getting right linear grammar but what happens is when you reverse the productions the language is also getting reversed which means if l is the language and you reverse the productions then a. right linear grammar will represent l power r reversal of r reversal of r right now you convert that right linear grammar to finite automata that will also represent reversal of r now you reverse the finite auto finite automata you are going to get l power r power r right so how do you reverse the finite automata i will show you now now if you are if you are given the finite automata and if you have to get the left linear grammar again the drill is same so finite automata first you reverse it then you are going to get the finite automata for the reversal for the reversal of the language okay so <clears throat> so when a finite automata is given first you reverse it reverse the finite automata then the language is getting reversed l power r right now after you take the reversal of the language you find the right linear grammar that will also represent l power r now when you reverse that right linear grammar you will get the left linear grammar that will reverse the language l power r power r are you getting it see here we are reverse, reversing once when the finite automata is reversed language got reversed and once you got the got the right linear gra, right linear grammar you are reversing again now that is why you are getting one more reversal there though so two reversals therefore the language is same which means we are taken a finite automata and given a left linear grammar for the same language i will take an example and explain you let us say let us say we have a finite automata like this a comma b let us say this is a this is b states what is this language this language is set of all strings starting with a now i will reverse the reverse the finite automata reverse the finite automata now what will be the reversal is you make the initial state as final state final state as initial state and you reverse all the edges okay so which means you take the initial state as final state and final state as initial state and you reverse the edges so a, a earlier was going from here to left to right now you put it as right to left okay and then you can write a comma b now what is this language this is set of all strings starting with a this is set of all strings ending with a ending with a right now if this is l this is l power r reversal of the language right let us say this is a this is b now convert it into 
right linear grammar convert it into right linear grammar what is the starting state b is the starting state now b on a is going to a or b on a is going to be in b or b on b is going to be in b right now a is the final state it is not going anywhere a determines epsilon a determines epsilon right so basically what is happening it is creating a plus b star now if you have to end it you are going to end it with a a and a a is nothing but it's my a is nothing but epsilon you are ending with with a if if i eliminate this epsilon production that we will see if i eliminate this epsilon production here there will be a directly small a then what is it any number of a's and b's followed by a a ending with a a ending with a a okay now you got the right linear grammar now you reverse it now reverse the right linear grammar you will get the left linear grammar how do i reverse it so b derives a a is there so capital a small a or capital b small a or capital b small b capital b small b and then a determines epsilon a determines epsilon that is same right so if you observe it we have got the left linear grammar for the finite automata we have got the left linear grammar for the finite automata right guys <coughs> if possible if i am not asking too much like the video write a comment just say thank you or subscribe to the channel please and tell your friends to subscribe to the channel okay thank you if you want to take my gate classes we go to the website ravindrababuraola.in and you are going to see all my gate classes available there okay so coming to the classes they are all recorded why am i doing recorded why am i not doing live classes is i have thousands of students registering for my courses every year but then if i conduct a live class only 20 or 30 people will be there 20 or 30 that's it maximum is 40 i had the reason is live classes are little bit wasting your time see you cannot watch a live class at 2x speed you have to watch at the pace at which i teach generally i will be very very slow while teaching so if you can go through the live classes you can watch them at 2x speed and you can complete the syllabus very fast 400 plus hours content is there for gate and if you are going to watch them at normal pace it will take 400 hours but if you watch it at 2x speed it will take just 200 hours right so if you want any of my gate classes gate computer science or gate da the price is just 10000 rupees it is very very reasonable for the kind of quality we provide we have test series we have doubt sessions we have videos we have lecture notes for every even you don't have to write any lecture notes i will provide you lecture notes for every subject you just have to sit back watch the videos at 2x speed and revise the notes short notes will be provided long notes will be provided formulas will be written in a separate notes everything will be there provided to you you don't have to work hard and coming to if you are planning to go abroad we also have study abroad program you can go through my number my number is on whatsapp my whatsapp number is in the website if you are planning to do masters abroad that is a very good choice it is better than doing masters in india so if you are planning to go abroad we will help you out right from the from taking the passport to getting the visa visa us visa right so we will help you out in the entire process okay so do visit the website see what is happening there even dsa course is there for 5000 rupees which is both in python and c++ okay so thank you so much